Well, today the county recorded a surge in coronavirus cases and hospitalizations as the number of San Diegans hospitalized with COVID-19 surpassed 400. Now, since last Thursday, four days ago, county health officials reported more than 8,000 new cases, and today there were more than 2,500 infections along with three more deaths. And despite those growing numbers, today the CDC actually recommended shorter isolation times for those sick with COVID-19 or exposed to the virus. Now, this is demand for testing grows both in stores and at free testing sites. Fox 5's Kasia Grigorczyk has the new developments. I'm feeling fine just trying to be safe. I had a possible exposure over Christmas, so I just want to make sure that, you know, I myself am not, you know, at any risk. We're not kind of feeling 100%. Um, An increase in COVID-19 cases right around the holidays means a rise in demand for testing, a long line stretched outside this site in City Heights. One of my family members was recently exposed, so I just came in today just yeah, as a precaution, make sure that I'm safe before I can, you know, continue going back to work or, you know, seeing other people. Eventually, a portion of the line was told they wouldn't be accommodated, but the site still stayed open late and take home tests were given to some who didn't make the cut. Good thing they have this um, to give this the option because um, as you could see, uh, what time is it? It's a uh, 530 right now and people are still lining up. Many of the new cases can be attributed to the rapidly spreading Omicron variant. However, health officials say it's proven to be more mild. As a result, Monday, CDC officials recommended a shorter isolation time for those sick or exposed to COVID-19, decreasing the amount of time from 10 to 5 days for those no longer feeling symptoms. People are then asked to be vigilant about wearing a mask for the following five days. Anyone without symptoms and a booster shot can skip quarantine if they wear a mask for all 10 days. We're all just trying to be safe, you know. I mean, as long as there's people who, you know, aren't taking this seriously, then we're going to be in this situation, you know. Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News.